Welcome to the Monash College Practice E-Assessment Exam. In this video, we're going to take you through a practice exam that has been put together to help you prepare for your upcoming e-assessments. Now, we're going to go through this exam reasonably quickly so that you can get an idea of how both the exam and the various questions in it work. However, you do have access to this practice exam through Moodle, so please do have a look and have a go on your own time. Now, the first page you see in any exam looks like this. On this first page, you will see the exam rules, authorized materials, and any specific instructions for the exam. All of this is obviously important, but please do note this. Answer sheets required, one. That is for something known as a hybrid question, which we will come to in time. Let's now, though, enter the exam. Now, the second page will probably look quite similar to the first. You will normally see specific exam instructions relating to the exam. So, for example, please ensure you answer all questions in this exam. That's particularly important for this sample because it contains all the different question types that you might encounter in your Monash College e-assessments, from multiple choice to matching and close, case studies to tables, and hybrids. We've also included some tips in blue writing of things that we think will help you when you're doing your e-assessments. So keep an eye out for these. The first of these being about your exam navigation bar, this thing here. But let's have a look at some of the questions. In your exam navigation bar, note, that this has changed color. That's because you have attempted it. These have not because you have not attempted it. And that brings me quite nicely to something called the unsure button. If you find a question that you're not sure about, click this button and note here that it's now underlined, meaning that you can go back and check this later on. As well, there are highlighters which you can use to help as you're writing and also a note section, which you can use to take helpful notes. Be warned though, these notes are generally not marked. Other question types include drag and drop, where you will simply drag and drop the appropriate answer, drop boxes, and so on. Short answer questions are also part of these exams, where instead of choosing an answer, what you will need to do is write your answer in the box provided. There are questions which might have more than one part. In this instance, a barbecue, where the first question talks about the time you should arrive, the second, what you should bring. These are where you can answer in the space provided. Note also that this is tracking us as we go along. Other questions include table questions, and these are important for two reasons. Well, all of them are important, but this is tricky because sometimes the table can be hiding. So do be aware of this and look for these two lines here. Also, be aware that the table can be deleted. However, if that happens, don't panic. All you need to do is copy and paste in the space provided. Problem solved. Next, essay questions, essays are essays. We trust you know how to answer these in the space provided. Thereafter, the last one, hybrid questions. And this was the extra piece of paper. Now, not all exams have these, but if you are lucky enough to have one, if you need to draw a particular diagram or write a special formula, you will need a QR reader on your phone. To answer a hybrid question, you simply write or draw your answer on your piece or pieces of paper, making sure to note which question you are answering. When you're done, remember to tick this, this box here, sorry, uh, saying, I have answered this question. And at the end of the exam, you'll show your papers one by one to the online invigilator, that is your screen. You'll then be asked to scan a QR code, and this will take you to where you can upload your photos as appropriate. 
lastly, this just as a reminder for you, but the last page is the summary where you can review and make sure that you have attempted all the questions. And if you are happy, click Submit. This just as a reminder, once you submit, you'll no longer be able to change your answers for this attempt. Good news is though, once you've done that, you should celebrate because congratulations, you've finished your first e-assessment.